Hey boys and girls, today is February 15th and I'm going to show you a real short little video here. It's another little trick and tips. But if you're doing um, tunnels or caves and you've got some close tolerances and you can't get in there with a plaster mold or a resin mold, here's a really cheap, inexpensive way of doing it. Here's the finished product and what it consists of you just take a piece of tin foil about the size of the wall plus about an inch or so all the way around it and you can do it several different ways you just crumple this up now I want mine to be not so aggressive if you crumple it too tight you get this kind of a pattern I like more of this okay more of a little bolder pattern so what I do is I just take this and I just go like this. Then I stretch it out. Stretch it back out. See how it looks. Okay. And get all your edges flat because that's where you're going to be doing your gluing or tacking, however. Now you could glue this, tape it, do whatever you want to it. Okay. Now. This is nice. Now you can you can put a ridge in there by pinching it. Uh, stick your finger on the back side. Put a nice ridge in there and pull it out. And you, you can see that you can get a lot of, you, you know, just be creative. Do, do, do whatever you like to do, okay? Then when you're all done, you just simply take some, uh, I use Rust-Oleum because Rust-Oleum sticks to metal. Uh, this cheap stuff I get for Kmart, I love it. It's 99 cents a can, flat black. I, by dozens at a time, but it's acrylic. So, I go with Rust-Oleum because it does stick to metal, and this is kind of a metal product, and you just spray it. I use several different colors. Uh, first thing I do is I'll put like one full color on. Always go lighter first, okay? Because once you go dark, you can't go light. So put your light color on, then when you're all done, come back with the darker color and mist it. You know, like a tiger striping or a leopard striping. And then, once that's all coated, then you can come back with your cheapo stuff and go and put a little black in it. Like, if you look at this, you could probably see three different colors in it. I got black, uh, dark brown, and light brown. Now, this will go in my tunnel. And see, doesn't that look like a nice wall? And once it's in the tunnel, these creases darken up. So you don't have to worry about highlighting your crevices to get a lot of uh, texture. It's going to show. And besides that, nobody's going to study your tunnels. You're just going to look at it and go, wow, the tunnel's finished. That's all there is to it. Okay, this is nice and simple, easy to do, cheap to do. Go ahead and knock yourselves out with it. I'm using the cock out of it because I build my railroad with real tight tolerances because i got such a tight rope. Okay. That's it for today, guys. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, if it does, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, hey, more the better. But uh, that's it for now, boys and girls. Over and out.